Hello everybody, it's Collection Update Time. How are you guys doing today? I prefer retro games, because they rock. How are you guys all doing today? I got some more games to show off, or talk to you guys about. Well, not really show off, but yeah. Got a couple games today I'm going to show, and by the time next collection, uh, next time I go retro game shopping, will be the next collection update, basically, so... And what I mean by that is, uh, it is like currently middle of June right now, and I got a couple things to show you guys. Really good stuff. So in the back here are a couple new games and something else. So let's get right into it. Uh, first game I want to show is this one right here, the Super Famicom port of F Zero. So yeah, as you see, probably seen my last video. Uh, I got another Super Famicom game from Japan. Well, I mean. I mean, I got it here in the U.S., it was just in the store, and it's the Japan, uh, Japanese part of the game. But yeah, I think I can do fine without uh, having to read Japanese for playing this game, because I cannot read Japanese. And I'll get to that in the next one. So yeah, but yeah, F-Zero is a very popular racing game. I've played it a lot of times before. Uh, there's just one stage with this really super long ramp that I just keep dying on, so hopefully I can find a way to get past that. Uh, next one is one I kind of forgot about that I saw last time, but you guys are gonna... This one's un an unbelievable find. This is, if you don't know what this is, this is Act Razor for the Super Famicom. I heard this is an excellent game, and I've, like, the, I heard the music is all supposed to be really freaking good. They said the platforming sections, I think I can do fine without reading Japanese, but... Uh, for the other stuff, I might have to look up a guide. So, yeah. Yeah, like I said uh, before, Super Famicom games are really cheap. Like, I saw American port, the American copy of S-Zero for $19.99. This was literally $10 cheaper. Only $9.99. So, compared to the U.S. release, it's not that expensive. But yeah, Act Razor. I can't wait to try Act Razor out. I've never played it before, but it's supposed to be really good and really super hard. It's supposed to be a really freaking hard game. And something else I got that's actually non-video game wise. I didn't really get this for my uh, any of my consoles or anything. I actually got this for my phone. This is a uh, case I got from Verizon. I didn't. They weren't selling the the type of phone I have. They weren't selling the the case for it. I mean, my case is seen better days so I figured maybe this will be close enough to something it'll protect my phone this will be nice to have on my job so I don't even have to unbox it really I just slide that off yeah there we go I can probably just slide that in there it'll fit just fine it has a hook right here it's nice and durable I and mean, this is probably gonna get damaged too but you know that's what this kind of stuff is designed for all right Okay, yeah, so there, here's the collection haul for middle of June, 2022. It's got some fine stuff here. I also got some food items today while I was at it. I did a little shopping today, had some fun with that. Another thing about F-Zero is the inside of this cartridge is really dirty, so I'm going to have to bust out my uh, isopropyl 91% alcohol and clean the inside of that. Act Razor, I'm very impressed by this one, however. This is a completely different story, like... The inside of this one is immaculately clean, so I don't really even have to touch this one as far as cleaning. Also, I know sometimes the the Super uh, Famicom logos, like over here sometimes, and it's other times it's like right over here. So, I'm starting to think maybe it's because uh, Nintendo licensed this one. It was made by Nintendo, and this was made by a third party uh, company. Which, I think, Super uh, Fire Pro Wrestling for the Super Famicom also did this. Another game I have in my collection. Alright, so let's go ahead and fast forward two weeks later. Hello everybody, it is two weeks later. How are you guys doing today? Even though it's the same video. <laughs> Okay, so I picked up a few more games. Uh, so actually, I'm gonna do it from a different view and a different setting this time. So this is what my collection now looks like. 
you know, if you want to compare it to my collection overview, uh, that video is also on my channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the games that I collected recently. So this is, uh, first one I want to show is Star Force for the NES. This is a game developed by Tecmo, and this is a vertical scrolling shooter. Uh, ser a genre of, of shooters that I typically have a hard time with, but are fun to play nonetheless. They have this satisfying, like, crunching sound when you defeat enemies or destroy bases. It's a really, really fun game to play. The star and the circle, or the, the star and the O here reminds me of a of like Donkey Kong games, like even if you look from the side you wouldn't even be tell- you probably couldn't even tell it's a vertical shooter, you could probably think of it as like a Donkey Kong game. And to prove this, uh, here's Donkey Kong Country 2D's Tunnel Quest. Yeah, see? Yeah, see, they basically almost kinda copied off Donkey Kong games a little bit, as far as the O's concerned. So yeah, and seeing that the original Donkey Kong made in 1981. Now you can see my point. Another game I got here is, which move this to the side. I ironically always pull this out correctly. Solar Striker for the Nintendo Game Boy. What really got me hooked to this was the awesome like, like cover art for the cartridge. Like, I mean, the the way the colors are used and the like, when I first watched it in the Electronics Flip and saw this, I'm like, okay, I might have to pick this up eventually. Like, from the way the colors are used to the way the ship is positioned, blasting all those aliens. This looked like a must-have. It did really, really well according to Google. And this is actually more like a launch title for the Game Boy, I think. It was actually developed by Nintendo. So at the time, Nintendo developed a bunch of sports games for the Game Boy. And F1 race for the Game Boy as well, and this this is even not even close to being like F1 race. It's a completely different genre, and to see an action game like this for a launch title is really neat. Well, yet again, there was Tetris, one of the greatest games of all time for the Game Boy. Last one I want to show is one I've been meaning to get for a while. Under Super Mario World is this one right here, this gem for the Super Nintendo. Absolute gem right here. Let me pull it out Mario All-Stars man This one is an absolute must-have in my collection. I've bought this like three times Yeah, that's right. Uh, I originally had the Wii port of this the uh, when I got switch online a few months later uh, in September That year I got switch online uh, this came on and now I have the physical copy of this So yeah, it's my third time buying this yeah, Mario 1, 2, 3, and the Lost Levels. I've beaten all these games on this compilation already, but I still had to get this game, seeing it's a physical copy, and I can now permanently have this in my collection. Too bad it doesn't have the groove like I hope. It's a bit too bad it doesn't have this, like, uh, bulk I like. And to show, this is what I mean, basically. Yeah, if you do a cartridge comparison, this is what I mean right here. If it had the bulk, then it would be an even better cartridge. So yeah, those are basically the uh, that that's done, and there's the next wave of games right there. So I want to give a quick announcement for my collection update videos. So my last one didn't really get too many views. So here's what I'm thinking: if this video gets a couple likes, at least a couple, and and slash or if it gets a lot of views, I'll keep doing monthly collection updates. If it... Otherwise, here's my solution. Uh, perhaps maybe next collection update, since it's almost July, could be six months from now. So the next one will be in December, and I could just do a huge, huge retro haul. Like, I mean, like a big, big, like, update. Like, six months from now. It would be a long video but I would it would be worth the wait like if this video like by the time this video gets uploaded by next month if this video has at least two likes and a lot of views I'll keep doing monthly updates otherwise I'll do 
uh, updates every six months, so it could be like a huge retro haul. Okay, thank you guys for watching. That'll be all for this video. Please stay in tune for more videos. I'm about to upload another Game Over compilation because you guys seem to... I, I got a lot of views on that one, so I already made a second one, and I'm going to upload that one as soon as I upload this video. So thank you guys for watching. See ya.